Okay, y'all. Good morning. It is a beautiful fall morning out um, here in Louisiana. It's about, I think it's 58 degrees. Um, you know, <laughs> most of our trees, we own like pine trees and stuff. So most of those don't really turn colors. There's like one pretty like Bradford pear tree um, that's like orange right in front of me. So, so pretty, so pretty. Love fall. I love seeing all y'all's videos that show the fall stuff and like the true beauty because we don't really get to see all of those colors here. So, anyways, I went to the doctor yesterday. Now, I don't know whether I need to fire my doctor or not. <laughs> Ah, oh, I go to the doctor that I go to because my work, our insurance is broke down into tiers, like three different levels. And to have the lowest copays, we have to go see somebody in our system. Um, and so that's how I started going to him and he's really receptive and listens and, um, if I ask him about it, he'll usually, you know, write it or tell me yes or no, that kind of thing. And so, I like that. He's young. Um, he's grounded in our town, so he's not going to get up and leave anytime soon. Um, so, I like that about him. So, I went for just my normal um, checkup. I had had some pain about a month ago, and um, so... He sent me to the OB and all that to get checked out, and all that came back fine. Everything came back fine, so no real answer. I did have cysts on my ovaries, um, and, you know, that's what it is. It's, you know, keto has helped PCOS and insulin resistance and everything like that. I'm not as hormonal as I used to be. My hairs are not as bad. Um, so I know keto is helping. But the two doctors are kind of, I don't know. It was just really weird. So I told my doctor, you know, Okay, he found the cyst, but he didn't do anything about it. And so my doctor was like, well, he should have put you on birth control and helped get rid of them. And um, I was like, well, he didn't, you know. And he's like, well, I mean, if you're not hurting now, I don't want to give it to you. And I'm like, well, then why'd you suggest it, you know? <laughs> so then we moved on to some of the other symptoms and things that, you know, I have migraines, so he asked about my migraines. Um, he asked about my weight loss, but I literally was the same number last month as I was this month. And, you know, I told him I've kind of, you know, stalled out and I'm feeling kind of down about it. And, you know, he basically just agreed that, you know, the season's changing. It's not doing me any good, but he's not going to write me anything for it. <laughs> he's like, you'll be fine, you know. And then I asked him about going on metformin um, because my doctor prior to him said that I needed to go ahead and go on metformin for my insulin resistance and to help me lose weight and everything like that. But now I've changed doctors and he does not believe in that. <laughs> he, I'm not sure he believes in keto. I really like left the office feeling like I may need to switch doctors because he wasn't down on keto. He didn't tell me to stop doing keto. Um, but he was just like, well, you know, when you're eating keto and you're eating low carb, all the water comes out of the cells and you get rid of that fluid. And then now you're at your set point again. This is, you know, what it is. And 
He's like, continuing to eat low carb is not going to change anything. And I'm like, yeah, but if I go back and eat carbs, it's going to change. It's going to go back up. I mean, that's simple math to me. I've been doing this for 36 weeks now. This is, this is not an overnight thing. This is life. This is how I am. So, I don't know. I don't know if I should fire him or not. So, he wouldn't put me on anything for my insulin resistance. Um, he just basically gave me a pat on the back and said, Good job with your weight loss. Keep going. He did not discourage keto, nor did he encourage keto. And I just left feeling kind of, eh. Not too good about it. So, hmm. But... Today, I'm fasting this morning. That's why we're having this little chitty chat because I'm fasting. I don't have any food to show y'all for breakfast this morning. I decided to fast. I'm going to fast as long as I can today. I'll probably eat lunch at work. will be my first meal. Um, and that's it. I'm just having water. So, I'll see y'all later for my first meal. Okay, y'all, it's about 12.22, and I'm going to break my fast with a Sonic burger and a side salad. Y'all, I had the best hubby in the world. He used to bring me flowers all the time, and, well, before we were married. And today I came in and there's beautiful flowers on the counter. Isn't that cool? He's so awesome. Not only did he bring that, but he brought that. <laughs> Ooh, y'all. I ain't had these since I started keto in the very beginning. So I'm 36 weeks in. And these got me through like every night in the beginning. And um, I've never tried these. These are questionable. No, they're not. Well, I mean, for some people, they're questionable. Not everybody on keto approves. But these did not stall me or anything. So, girl, I was so excited, y'all. Got those in the mint. And got the almond delights, you know, live your own keto. But I'm so, y'all look how pretty. They are so pretty. Daddy loves you. Daddy does love me. Y'all, Stephen made an amazing dinner. We're having hamburger patties with bacon. That's a fried egg. I have some wow wee sauce on it, which is kind of like a mayo ketchup -y, kind of like a raisin cane sauce so there's one net carb in that i'm having some leftover salad um with ranch and a side of pickles so this whole plate is like four net carbs and delicious